This is a 2015 F-150 with a 5 liter 4 wheel drive. Came in with an oil leak, had a lot of oil at the rear of the oil pan. Looked for sure like it was going to be a rear main seal, but after looking at it, it ended up being the oil pan gasket. And the oil pan actually did not leak when it was running. We had to let it uh, sit overnight, and then I came back and there was actually oil around the pan. Uh, the pan gasket became extremely hard, only has 150,000 miles, uh, but it, like, it is completely hardened here. It's just got that one little rubber strip on the top and bottom of that plastic encased gasket. So I think that's going to be a common failure on these things. Uh, in order to remove the pan, move the front drive shaft. There's one bolt here. Uh, to get this cross member out, this bolt right here won't come out. It'll hit the differential, so uh, you'll have to wait until you lift up the differential just a little bit after you unbolt it, then you can get your cross member out. Um, and the upper bolt on the differential up there comes out from the front well it hits the inter intermediate steering shaft on the rack and pinion so you have to loosen up your rack and pinion bolt on the driver's side or move it on the passenger side lift up with a jack on the rack and pinion that'll get the ISS shaft right there to pivot over right now it's in front of the bolt but pivots over you can get that bolt out and then you have to drop your sway bar so you can get your oil pan out uh, and doing it like this uh, I also unbolted the uh, IFS or the front axle here and it did just barely come out in its current position. These are three bolts for the front differential. The 21 millimeter head is just a little bit longer. And it's the one that goes back here. The other two go in the other places. On the wiring harness here, this one uh, plastic piece slides on a metal tab on the oil pan. It's a little bit of a booger to get off there, but what you want to do is you want to be prying with a fork on it while at the same time taking a small screwdriver. Here's the tab. You're going to get underneath the tab and pry down while prying out. Just that oil pan gasket, 150,000, and it's just like completely crumbling. Hard as a rock. Also, you want to unbolt your transmission cooler line at the bell housing here. And on the front timing cover, it's going to have a little 10 millimeter nut. Holds it on there. Uh, it holds on the wiring harness and the transmission cooler hose is pulled off and wrap an endless ratchet strap around the strut to the harness and the transmission cooler lines. Yank them over enough to get your oil pan out. Um, this one also, to get the oil pan bolts off the front, had to remove the uh, this oil drain tray that goes under the oil filter.